What's up guys, it's Billy over at Pretty Neat VR. Today I'd just like to do a video on foveated rendering. Um, Everyday VR put up a video the other day that showcased the potential of foveated rendering. And I thought, well, you know, I could probably do, I could probably recreate that with some videos I already have, you know, with just some directional blurs or um, just blurs in, in After Effects or, or Adobe Premiere or whatever. So I've got some clips I wanted to show off that kind of kind of portray it. I think Everyday VR actually created a a little demo that that showcases it, and it's assuming that you're looking at the middle of the screen, and that's kind of how mine um, mine works too. I didn't obviously I don't have eye tracking software, and we don't have really have eye tracking headsets yet. That's why Fove is coming out with this headset that they have. So anyway, I'll show the clips I've got here. Uh, first one would be War Thunder and so yeah I kind of faded in this effect you'll see here in a second after I take off I think is where I actually faded in this blur I'm sorry that it's taken a second and so right here I faded in the blur so it blurs the edges and Basically, what foveated rendering is, um, it's just a technique in which they uh, they designate a point, fixation point, where the rendering is in high detail, and then everything around that would be less detail. And here's another clip I used from a Grand Theft Auto clip I had. So right there, this one wasn't very good. It's kind of because you in this game, it's in this situation, it's. Um, it's almost better to have more in focus, but I maybe went a little overboard. But anyway, that's just my video on foveated rendering. I know it's not very technical, but I just wanted to show off some uh, clips of like the potential so you guys can see. If you want, head on over to Fove's website to um, join the waitlist for their headset. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.